hi everybody. Renegade sixty seven here with um part twenty five of uh, let's play Phoenix right Ace Attorney Haste for Hind. And yeah, this is a final day trial. And I assume that means it's the trial of the final day of all the final case. Uh, well at least aside from case five. Um so yeah, I'm finally glad that I'm on this. It's like it's either gonna be my last or second last recording session. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Hopefully last. If it goes on for too long, it'll I'll go I'll do another one next week. But <clears throat> we shall see. After this I can get back to, you know, other stuff like Pokemon XD, Gotcha Force, King Watch Two, and Pokemon Red, which uh yeah, sorry about that Pokemon channel, but I kinda put that on hold too, uh without telling you. So uh yeah. Um another thing. I mean, I'd go into Justi Justice for All right away, but I got so many Let's Plays going on that, I don't know, I think I'll wait till I finish, like, maybe Gotcha Force, since it's a pretty quick game. Anyways, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's go, final day, trial. Judgment Day. A lot of things. Um, okay. It's like he got shocked again by the electrocution? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It is the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Edgeworth looks chipper as always. I cannot. I I totally did not read into the future or anything. I said chipper though, because I'm being sarcastic. Oh, he will. Put him right there. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. Just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. <laughs> Ah. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. <laughs> you probably did. Oh, I'm you. <laughs> so, uh, how'd uh, finding the caretaker go? Did you find him? It's gotten in bad, girl. <laughs> Take the gumshoe. Pleasant morning. Have no fear as promised, I've captured a runaway caretaker. Alright, go gumshoe! Missed moment of awesome. Okay. Yogi said he forgot his own name. Must be a lie. Well, I don't think we've brought up the fingerprints yet. I mean, why hasn't anyone tried that? You can check his fingerprints. It's not gonna be that hard, I don't think. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. They probably found some way around the fingerprints, though. I mean, it wouldn't be that easy. Maybe it will be, I don't know. Because, I mean, the main topic is probably going to be DL6, so it could be that easy. Um, prosecution is ready. Ah, uh, right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be odd in silence by every little thing he says. Why not? He's a pretty odd in silence kind of guy. Detective Gumshoe's efforts to vote on a shop caretaker has been arrested. Hooray! Yeah. 
pretty much. Caretaker has yet to confirm this. Hello, fingerprints? Very well. Why is no one bringing up the fingerprints? Is there something I don't know about? Did I just forget and they did? I don't think they did. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. It's in the boat rental shop at the lake. I believe it's a noodle restaurant. I'm like defending his case, man. <gasps> Though I think we've already ascertained that he's uh, not crazy. He's just faking it. Though I thought it was only temporary insanity. Did he just take it a step too far? Did Hammond want him to take it a step too far? I don't know. Or so he says. Why I left court. Er, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. But, I wasn't running away or nothing. I, uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Er, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. Honestly, until someone explains this to me, I believe him. Why the heck does he want to screw with Hammond? I get Edgeworth. I totally get that. Why Hammond? Of course, this means he'd have to be Yogi, but yeah, I think he is by now. Um, let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? Ask to know his name. Do you know your true name? Okay. Mm. Why I left court? Er, I'm really sorry about leaving yesterday like I did. Good for you. I wasn't running away or nothing. Went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured he got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Polly! You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Er, uh, yup, seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh... Or... Or maybe you're lying about not having a memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. Witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof! Gah! Am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old cogger's head? Fingerprints? Ugh... Please continue. Be a cunt. Need one of those motive things, right? I don't got one. <laughs> Maybe you do. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. Let it go, yes. Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. Can't hold a grudge, it's impossible! I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's gonna be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Uh, sure. I've been calling the witness's memory of the past or lack thereof into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case, and no motive. You tell him. Yeah, I just had lunch, so... I've got the leftovers in my mouth, um, nom 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 nom. Order, order. Mr. Wright, there's a serious problem with your claim. Are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Now, this is interesting. I would like to know myself. Don't play dumb ball and karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us the witness's name. It's Robert Hammond, duh. 
or at least it was on Christmas Eve when he was talking to Edgeworth. Ooh, spooky. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi? That name seems familiar. Well, seeing how you're the judge to every case ever, you probably were there. Oh. And a yogi from the DL6 incident. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man miss if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, the witness, is Yari Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? It's a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. Allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now. Then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick. I gotta look, take a hard look at the evidence for a second. Doesn't mean anything. Shot approximately one meter away. No, it's just a picture. It's a bullet. Pistol. Metal detector, the ancient metal detector that's still with us for some reason. Parrot. Sure, let's check it. Um, elevator district court. Aaron elevator was auctioned to private type of No clues found in the scene. Victim data. Gregory Edgeworth, age 35. Defense attorney. Trapped in elevator returning from a... Uh, lost trial with Sun Miles, age 9. One bullet. Found in heart. Murder weapon was fired twice. Oh, the murder weapon was fired twice! Okay, yeah, and the second bullet went through the glass window thing. Um, I found that out, uh, last time. I was gonna say yesterday, but no, it wasn't yesterday. Well, yesterday in this game, it was Yanni Yogi, age 37. For Bailiff, uh, trapped with the Edgeworths. Memory loss due to oxygen creation. Oh, what's that say? Atur his erect fian okay I can read that fiance Polly Polly Jenkins commits suicide whoa memory lost to oxygen degradation after his okay let's say erect or something whatever I can read that part though fiance Polly Jenkins commits suicide. Holy Polly, Polly, that's the name of his parrot. He named the parrot after his fiance, or he named his fiance. No, no, I couldn't have done that. Um, you know, um, or could he have if you changed his name for him? <laughs> no, but seriously, that's Polly. Want a name? I'm glad I looked that over. Now I have some ammunition, and I don't have to look at it again. How are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? Well, if the fingerprint thing doesn't work, which I'm pretty sure no one's even gonna bring up at this point, then I've got the file of the yogi. It's okay, it's actually quite simple. Your honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Oh, there we go! There we go! It took you this long to get the fingerprints thing? Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints in the file from Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see, that makes sense. Tsk, 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 why are you laughing? Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Why are you sorry? The witness has no fingerprints. Excuse me. How do you have no... How can... Is it possible to have no fingerprints? I mean, he clearly has hands, doesn't he? Otherwise, he couldn't have held the gun. I mean... Er, uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. Okay. I burned my fingers working with the- Oh, of course you burned your fingers! How What a good coincidence. I think not, I just- Did Far Karma plan this? Did he tell him to burn his own fingers? Or was this Robert's plan, to burn his own fingers so no one would know who he is? I don't know. 
Either way, they're both jerks. Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Eh, maybe, maybe it was just Yogi's idea. Either way, either of the three of them are pretty big jerks. Though Yogi is kind of a... Uh, I mean, his wife had a suicide, so... Eh. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints... I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. Objection! Ah, uh, his, his parrot's name is Polly and his wife's name was Polly. It's gotta mean something. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? What will I do? I'll tell you what I'll do. Aw. Uh. Hmm? Seems that the case has been decided, no? No! I know what happened. I know everything. I just can't prove it. Yes, you can, Phoenix! Look at the files! You're supposed to be a pro attorney? You're not even looking at your case files. What, is me again up here? Like, kind of a callback to case one? There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. What are we gonna do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty crazy thing to do. I don't think anyone would consider that. Oh my god, just get to the point where I can present this. It's gotta be it. It has to be it. Perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief? Cross-examine the parrot. Wait a second. The parrot says, if we if we say, don't forget about, um, have we forgotten anyth anything? He'll say, don't forget about DL6. That ties him to DL6. I mean, there's still the file that ties him to DL6, but, you know, if you don't want to go with the file, if we just want to go with the parrot, that could work, actually. I mean, sure, it's very funny and, and all, but seriously? If we say, have we forgotten anything? He'll say, don't forget DL6. This is, of course, in respondence to his owner, Yanni Yogi. Alright, let's cross-examine him. Let's do it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it could work. Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? Ah, oh, Nick's on to this. He doesn't look at his own files, but he has a good memory. What is it, Nick? No. You're not going to. Oh, I'm going to. Your Honor? The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On my proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot! <laughs> oh, that sounds so stupid, but it actually might work. It's our best bet right now. Order! Order! Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? You do even ask? This is a farce! I object! Oh, wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do as you suggested. I also have a right to stop the video now. I'll see you guys next time on this by Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Case 4. Next time will be part 26. Bye.